I'm Brittany City and welcome back to my channel where I chat about tech, fashion, and lifestyle, everything in between. I know a lot of y'all are here for the fashion, a lot of y'all are here for the tech, for the lifestyle, but for my people that are here for the tech, I got some tea for y'all today. I got some tea for y'all today. I know a lot of y'all are either already on your journey in tech or you're just starting your journey or you want to hop on a train but you're like i don't even know where the train picks up like where do i even hop on <laughs> so this video is for all of you i am sharing my 2022 tech goals um i am like super big on goals like the verge go in me like i don't play about goals my 2022 tech career goals um this was actually one of my first time ever really sitting down and saying like okay what do i want to do for my career um i think for the longest and i have a video about my transition to tech and kind of where i came from what i do now i'll link it up here um but I think for the longest, when I was pre-med and undergrad, um, my goal was like, of course, get into medical school, become a doctor, maybe do the residency thing. You know, that was my goal. Um, and then once I made this pivot over into tech, my goal for the longest was just getting in. So it was so much like, let me just get in there. Let me gain the skills that I need to get in there. I just want to get in. Um, and now that I am actually in it and I'm doing I have goals and things that I'm doing for my career, but and also things personally that I want to do in that space, in that tech space to help other people get in as well. Um, I've been teaching in boot camp, so things that I want to continue to do in education. Um, I just think that from this past year, I've grown so much in my career and in my knowledge about the tech space. And of course, the more that you're in something, the more that you learn, the more that you see around you, you're like, oh wait, like. I thought this is what I wanted to do but actually what are y'all doing over there like that's what I want to do so I think that just you evolve that way right and so um a lot of my goals really come from that um so I'll get to it and it's all on my iPad love my iPad this is an iPad um just like the air ipad air 4 um i love this ipad here's my pencil i actually type these i use good notes type them on my computer and have them on my ipad just to be a little neater um but i'll kick start my goals and i've broken them down into five goals my five goals for the year so um first is to land a data science job so right now I am a data analyst and I want to move over into data science. Get this question all the time. I'll go ahead and answer that question right now for you all. So data analytics is more descriptive. It is more um, what is happening right now, this week, this month, this year. Um, I provide updates for my stakeholders to give them a frame of reference of what happened in the past or what is happening right now. Um, data science, it gives predictive and even prescriptive analytics. So it helps people know what is going to happen in the future, helps people know uh, what they should do based on what we've noticed will happen in the future. Um, so that's how I like to differentiate the two i've currently been in a data science boot camp um before i even landed my role i did a data science boot camp i'm in a data science master's program right now um and i was thinking of waiting until i was done with the master's program but that ends next year and honestly i feel like when i look at the job descriptions i check off so many boxes so i think it's my own imposter syndrome that's just holding me back so i'm like this year F it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to apply it, and I'm going to get in, even without getting my degree yet. For that, some things that I need to do to like really accomplish that goal, I need to update and build my portfolio more. Um, and I would recommend that to any of you that is interested in landing a job in tech, um, no matter what the field is that you're trying to get into, like the discipline or whatever, or what you're trying to learn. Um, it's all about the portfolio and the projects that you get under your belt that you can talk about confidently in an interview so because you don't have that hands-on work experience to talk about like tell me about a time when you don't have that so instead you talk about your projects and um 
I would like to just kind of build those projects up a little bit more and get a solid place like a website my github all of that neat place where people can find them that's my goal for like January February next certifications is my number two now I have to preface this by saying you do not have to get certifications to get into tech all the tech things that I'm in people are going crazy about certifications right now like I just I just got a certification in Scrum Master. I just got a certification. But what experience? What projects? What work have you done with these tools? Like, you can't have an interview with anybody and just talk about certifications. You have to have something to talk about. So, when I'm giving people kind of like a game plan and steps to take, you learn the skills first, baby, before you do anything else. You learn the skills first <laughs> before anything else skills projects certification we're gonna go in that order is what i'm gonna recommend because i feel like your certifications are kind of your cherry on top that's like um kind of some proof in the pudding type of thing like yeah i said i can do it i showed i can do it but now i have like this backed accredited whoever whoever is also saying that i can do it but really it's like I think that a lot of even companies and people know just how flawed some of these like certification exams and some stuff you know it's it's kind of an outdated system so I think that companies know that and I don't think a lot of people are really holding on to that this much just my opinion so I wouldn't start with that the only reason this is on my list to be so honest with y'all is because I'm trying to get into Amazon while learning AWS and getting better at it and understanding the ins and outs why not get the certification at the same time that's kind of what I'm doing but this is not necessarily a foundational skill to be a data analyst to be a data scientist it's not a foundational skill this is like learning the ins and outs of a technology that is used as certain companies um, and so that is why I'm learning it um also i'm starting at cloud practitioner which is a very you know broad um type of certification like it's not really going in depth with a lot of the tools it's just giving you an overview also plan around with the idea of getting certifications in the tools that i use regularly so that would be like sql excel and tableau um so these are skills that i work on daily and i teach for multiple boot camps over multiple years now so it is not necessarily something that I'm trying to get before I've even really digged into it. It's not a certification that I'm getting to land like X, Y, and Z job just to get my foot in the door. Like, no, you can already be in and then get these certifications later. Number three, just talked about me teaching at boot camps. I just want to continue teaching at boot camps. I like teaching boot camps. Um, and I would actually let anyone know that teaching is a great way to get over your imposter syndrome. Um, I think that teaching any subject, this is not even just about tech, it could literally be teaching French, <laughs> and I have not been on my Duolingo, um, so teaching anything to someone, it will just help you like wow yourself at how much you know, um, it will actually help you build your skills more, um, SQL was something that I was always like intimidated by um, while I was learning it the first time, and even on the job, like first practicing it, I was still like, ooh, am I doing it? right like typing and doing stuff all slow and I think teaching it it's just made it like second nature like all the stuff just comes to me so quick now like um, and I love that so that's a great thing about teaching um, I want to take it up a notch this year and actually have some online courses on like Udemy or Coursera that I provide like yes like that's just next level right <laughs> um, and that's also passive income so I want to really hop into that and also here on YouTube I want to start giving y'all some tutorials and some code with me's and really give you some educational value um, for all those people that are really looking to learn some things so I want to give you some free education here on YouTube number four so this is probably the techiest 
section of my tech goals is learning so if you hop into tech y'all you are never going to stop learning you never done with learning there is always something to learn and i'm telling you um when i first got into tech and this is kind of in the previous video but i stumbled across it like it was people in um, my research lab that were working in these different technologies and i was like okay wow you are super smart what do you know what do you do and that's kind of what got me just googling and down a google rabbit hole and was like okay i want to learn more and more and more and i got into data science all the people around me were like data scientists data um biostatisticians different things like that so i just got super amazed by all of that that's how i got in once you get in you are going to be shocked at how much other stuff is out there um everything that's labeled on a boot camp those are not the only careers out there that's just the only things that's offered at that boot camp so i um just want to preface that i'm going on a tangent but my main things that i want to learn ar vr so i got my boyfriend paris and oculus i got super into the metaverse and into this artificial reality virtual reality world and so i really want to learn how to create my own artificial re like no virtual reality so there's ar and there's vr augmented reality is changing the real world instagram the instagram filters that are being placed upon our real faces and, and you'll see me with the same outfit on all this real world stuff but this augmented filter that's ar vr virtual reality is what you get with the oculus that's when you are inside of something and you feel like you're in a totally different world that is virtual reality i would like to learn both they actually use the same code so it's not like you have to learn two things um but i really would love to create a virtual reality store like a shopping something fashiony um i would love to do that actually my apprenticeship i told them that i was interested in it and there's this project they're working on where they're creating a virtual reality art gallery with an nft spinning in the art gallery y'all it's insane crazy so um i'm super into that super into nfts crypto blockchain all of that stuff i know you've heard those words circulating all around right now um there are monetary like people are making monies big monies on these nfts and on this crypto i own a piece some crypto a couple of coins um and i don't have an nft but i would like to purchase an nft eventually not sure if that's this year my goals this year is really to just learn more about these different technologies and then i can see where i fit in like where i rather um buy or where i rather make like if i want to make an nft anything like that i do have a couple of notes on this so um an nft can be anything digital it can be drawings music photos video or audio and i'm gonna show you guys an nft right here this is the gucci ghost this sold for thirty six hundred dollars and it resold for sixteen thousand three hundred dollars y'all so like these nfts are almost becoming like art collectors like collectibles like it's insane um and then i know you guys have heard of the nft birkin if you have not it is super controversial because hermes was not pleased um but this is the nft birkin here and it sold for twenty three thousand five hundred dollars y'all for a digital piece of art and hermes got nothing they didn't get a dime so they are not pleased at all um so they're trying to work that out right now i don't know what they can work out i don't even know the legality of that but they are not pleased and it's currently like a whole discussion and lastly i feel like i'm holding y'all and i'm looking for my watch i don't even have my watch on <laughs> um but my fifth goal for this year for tech is to launch a podcast my rambling but me rambling right now talking my y'all heads off with these goals am interested in creating a podcast um i've always thought podcasts were super cool and i feel like that would just be a way for me to um just 
be on a different medium to be honest with you like i feel like i'm want to leverage all different mediums in the places that i can be on um but also podcasts are great ways to meet people and to learn things so um i've been asked to hop on a couple of podcasts before and a lot of times i'm being invited by people who do not work in data analytics or data science and they genuinely want to learn more um and that will be the same thing i can do on my podcast so i have a lot of you all that are interested in like cybersecurity or you're interested in app development um, maybe even graphic design things that I don't really do but I actually would like to learn more about them as well so I could invite people that I know in my community um, and just to black tick Twitter um, different groups that I'm in that do those things and could help answer some questions that y'all have so I think that'd be really cool those were my five tech goals for 2022 I hope y'all enjoyed this video let me know if y'all have any questions in the comments let me know any of your goals that you have for 2022 i'm so interested to know um and we can be accountability partners i'm all about that this year like accountability partners you might even can find another one in the comments so um make sure that you do that and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be alerted whenever i upload a new video Okay, bye. <laughs>